Newly released records obtained by 12 News show what happened leading up to the Miller shooting February 26th. Employee turned gunman Anthony Farrell killed five co-workers before killing himself. In the 310 pages of investigative reports, 12 News learned Farrell attended a morning meeting with four of those five victims. Nothing appeared out of the ordinary with Anthony, one witness told investigators, adding there were no arguments. Another witness, described as a good friend of Farrell's, recalled sitting with Farrell and one of the victims, Gene Levschetz, in the break room, joking and talking about vacation. Oh, Gene, sit down and have fellowship with us, the friend recalled Farrell announcing. Minutes later, the trio saw Jesus Faye Jr., another victim who was known as Jesse, pass through the break room and go to the control room. The records show Farrell put on his work gloves and announced, I'll be back. Witnesses then recalled hearing four gunshots. Farrell's friend and Levshets looked through the window and saw Farrell standing over Valle's body. Anthony had a black handgun in his right hand, pointed down at his side, the friend told police. The friend and Levshets took off in opposite directions, but only the friend made it out alive. Derek, do the records indicate why Valle may have been shot first? Not exactly. The friend uh, told investigators Anthony Farrell had some sort of issue with Valle, but never verbalized it, so the friend dismissed it. That friend also dismissed race as a possible motive, despite having experienced racism himself at Miller. That part of our story, Joyce, coming up tonight on 12 News at 10. I look forward to learning more. Derek Rose reporting live.